Hey, so welcome. Uh, Dr. Nell's here. It's been a while since we recorded one of these YouTube videos with me talking to you. So, hey team, glad you're here. Let's take a look at something really powerful. Um, it's called LM Studio. So, um, LM Studio, you can download it. It's available for both Mac with your M1 or M2 chip, um, and you can download it and run it on Windows. You'll see here that I'm using Windows right now, and it's pretty easy to download. What does this do that's so interesting? It democratizes the ability to locally run and work with a large language model. And I think that's so interesting because you can now take all that work, all that effort, all of the knowledge, you know, you're standing on the shoulders of these model making giants where you can take what's Meta AI's Llama 2, the 7 billion, 13 billion, you know, 34 billion version of the model, billion parameter version of the model, and you can run it locally and you can download it and you can have it and it's pretty easy to work with. So uh, let's take a look here and see how it works out um, on my local system. So we'll go ahead and uh, look here at the system. We have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. It's sort of running at about 76%. Part of that is the OBS Studio that's running. So um, don't think that the uh, LM Studio is eating up that much of the processor at the moment. All right, so LM Studio is loading here. All right, so this system here I'm running has, as you can see, a fair amount of RAM. So there we go, LM Studio is up now. Uh, I'm running at 18.7 gigabytes out of 63.7 gigabytes of RAM, 29% usage. Um, and again, I have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti graphics card running um, here at the desk with me. So basically this LM Studio pulls up, you have it here. Um, the nice thing is you can kind of tell it any kind of model that you're looking for. The one that I downloaded here, which was published seven days ago, is the Code Llama 7 billion instruct. They suggest here that it has seven, you know, eight, your, your machine has eight gigabytes of RAM to run on it. Um, and we can look at that real quick. So um, I've downloaded four different models um, from the bloke. Um, who is the only person right now I'm, I'm downloading models from. So I've been trying to get the 34 gigabyte, mo 34, billion, um, 34 billion parameter model to run. This version here is 35.79 gigabytes. I have not got it to run yet. So I thought I'd work with one of the two smaller sets of it. There's an instruct uh, code llama and a code llama uh, Python specific tuned version. Um, I've gotten both of those to load uh, but I wasn't able to really do anything interesting with them just yet. Uh, for me, I had more success with the 7 billion parameter uh, model. So over here, we're gonna, as you can see here, I will change the GPU and the CPU here in a second after we load a model. So this is gonna take just a little bit of time. Um, so we're loading the Code Llama completion preset. That was a little warning message you saw there. All right, so it's loading, it's loading. And you can see here that it took just a few seconds. We loaded up 6.69 gigabytes of RAM usage um, for the bloke Code Llama Instruct 7 billion model. It's ready to go. Um, right now we don't have any kind of chat. We do wanna change one thing real quick. Um, so right now it has four CPU threads. It has no acceleration, no GPU threads. So we'll just throw in 10 there real quick. Um, so we removed out four and then I uh, went to 10. And we need to reapply our model here. 
So you can see it, it doesn't take very long. And other than the initial load there, you saw the GPU 3D spike up right at that model load, but overall we haven't seen it really tax the GPU at all. Um, so we could ask it something, uh, something basic. Um, we'll go out and see if we can get it to write some code. Um, we'll do a code set that I know works. Um, we'll do a, a little prompt to have it make a Mandelbrot fractal, right? So fractals are one of the things that I think are the most fun to ask these models to see what they will produce. We're gonna have to ask this one here to do it in Python instead of Java here in a second. Um, interesting that it defaulted to Java. <laughs> Um, and it's interesting here, you can see that the GPU, that 3D memory went up a little bit and then has actually come back down now um, as it's producing the output. So the 7 billion parameter model is definitely not the fastest model that I have seen produce code. Uh, for the most part, most of the stuff that I do is within the Google Collab environment. So I'm using the, the AI features they have there uh, to do code. That's why I was really interested in getting into LM Studio to see what other models exist outside of the kind of Google models. Um, so we'll see what this produces here, then maybe how it produced some code in Python. The interesting thing here is that this model right now is running and has not hit that point where it just stops um, and stops the output. Um, it's still producing code at a pretty pretty good clip here. So uh, this is a little bit surprising. Um, you know, I generally after a certain number of lines of code, it kind of just will stop. It'll run out. Right now it's still going though, so that's good. Okay, it says however, the resulting image is a black square. I've tried changing the value of real and imaginary to see if that would change anything. Um, huh. So it probably is trying to provide some guidance here. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and stop this generation. Um, It's definitely saying some random stuff. Um, I don't know who at Andreas is. <laughs> it's definitely not me or my setup. Um, I'm Nels, <laughs> definitely not Andreas. So let's try a different one. Say, um, let's throw that in there. Um, we'll tell it using Python. I think this is a harder set of code to write in Java than, than Python. Um, all right, so we got NumPy and uh, MATLAB. So it's definitely doing some stuff here. If this had a better understanding of the code that it was calling. There are definitely some different packages that it could invoke where Mandelbrot is a standard fractal and it wouldn't have to do this much work necessarily. So I'm curious to see what this, what this ends up producing or if it works.
So in this case, it might have been better to prompt it to just sort of show us the code. <laughs> um, it's still going. Okay, um, let's see if it would adjust this code that it made for a Google Collab notebook. Um, rewrite that make a mana block fractal code to run in a Google Collab notebook. So let's see if it can interpret that request. So we're getting sort of the same thing. Um, so we'll let that run. What I was kind of expecting it to produce uh, was something a little different. So we definitely want to see NumPy and we were definitely expecting to see uh, MATLAB. So that's making sense. And then this version I have here, We'll run it here in this Google Cloud notebook. And you can see here it plotted out a, a nice looking Mandelbrot fractal. Um, and this code is available. <laughs> um, I have it available in GitHub right now. Um, so like this model here potentially could have been trained on this. Um, and it got an error here, error loading model, um, exit code 42. I probably just ran out of set there. So um, if we grab this code, so this is kind of the code I would have expected here. And we're very similar, right? We got some stuff running in, we're, we're doing some different things, we're getting some definitions for how we would draw this. Um, so we'll throw a code block in here, um, then we'll run it and see if it, if it works. It does not, <laughs> it errors. Um, it did start to, start to go, but um, did not run out of the box, um, which doesn't, super surprised me um, that code being a little bit different than what what I would have expected to to draw the, the fractal um, so anyway well, this is messing around a little bit with LM studio I think it's a really exciting thing that on my local machine I can do something similar to what um, I would do over in uh, Google Collab and not have to use the cloud just run it local um, the part here that I think is super interesting is that you could just go download any sort of model um, and they have a ton of different models within this LM studio. Um, you could do Open Orca, um, Mythomax, um, Vicuna, lots of different models that are available over there. So um, I think it's a really exciting thing to do. Um, this video here was set up to test the audio of the old video recording for YouTube here. So hopefully the audio test works and the upload works and everything is, is easy. Um, and if you enjoyed getting to this point in the video and I'll probably make some more, more concise LM Studio videos showing kind of what some of these models can do. Um, but yeah, thanks. Um, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, enjoy your day.